Welcome back to Madness. We are here. This is Libby of LuxCups.com. And I'm Becky of the Pink Samurai. If you didn't know that, it's fine. Uh, we're going to make cookies today. Uh, we found these amazing little sweater cookies at Target. And we thought it would be fun to decorate some super cute, ugly Christmas sweaters. And the best thing is that Libby took a master class. <laughs> <laughs> in cookie decorating. So she will also be teaching me how to decorate cookies. <laughs> Tell them about your master class that you did. Sure. Did. So it was 10 minutes long um, and on YouTube <laughs> and I watched it while replying to emails. So obviously mm -hmm. I am the your expert. Your full attention, yes, you dedicated yes. to this art. So yes, I will have many amazing tips, I'm sure. So we went to this place called Make It Sweet in Austin and we got some, it's like all cake and candy and cookie stuff. So we got all kinds of things we have. And we have some of these. These are also from the grocery store too. But look at all these goodies. So let's make some, let's make some Cuteness. Cuteness, yeah. I'm Cuteness. excited. We've got a little bit of icing. We'll see. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm excited. I think I'm going to start with, oh, yeah, and I'm going to start with an ugly one first. An ugly one you know, just to, to warm, test? To warm up. Okay, that's fair. You know? I'm going to need that pink sparkly Okay, you're going gel. for it. I am. Should I fill? Okay, so how do I fill? Sure. So we've got these toothpicks in my master class. Okay. Yes. Not my master class, but the master class that I uh, that attended. That you took. Yeah, that yeah, you graduated I attended from. from. I attended <laughs> from. Uh, by Gemma Cupcake. Okay, that's really cute. Yeah. We'll link it below. You gotta send me the link so it's, everyone else can actually watch it. She l actually legitimately knows. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Okay. Um, she traces the outside. Now we already have lines here, which is so helpful. That is true. So, oh. is <laughs> and it comes out kind of runny, which is probably good for a cookie. You know what? She traces the outside and then she fills into the middle. So I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing again. Okay. And trace the the line. We fake it till we make it here. All right. That's yep. That's what we're all about. I'm really good at that. Meanwhile, there's a cat in the background just like swatting pins off of my desk so and I just in case you were wondering what my life is like this takes a lot of concentration mm -hmm. uh and it looks kind of goopy it's all right well you got your toothpicks yeah that'll help <laughs> <laughs> oh okay well, I think this is the consistency it's supposed to be <laughs> okay it's so like when you get the ketchup and it like squirts out and it's all liquidy at first uh, and you're like, I don't want to put my french fries in that. Yeah, and you avoid it like the plague. Yeah. Well, well that's why we used an ugly cookie to begin with. Yeah, okay. we're starting with the ugly for a reason. There are no failures. <laughs> we're only learning. Mm, gosh, you have to be so strong. Should we have like... My sweater's mm. really warm. <laughs> When my red, my red, when my face starts turning red, you'll know why. It's because it's, it's like 70 degrees outside here. It okay, really, it really your turn, have fun. I was wearing a t-shirt. It looks kind of jacked up right now, but when you take your toothpick. Okay, let me. Now, she had a fancy pick with like jewels and stuff. That is fancy. But when you take your toothpick, you can spread it around like a little paintbrush, which is. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, yours should be a little more consistent because you didn't get the ketchup. Excuses, excuses. Oh. Eating, yeah. <laughs> so when yours turns out way better. <laughs> well, now I'm laughing and like shaking it <laughs> Now, I don't think a master would use the icing in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Um, we are, we're making it work, but you know, all I'm saying is that Kim Joy from Bake Off is my friend on Instagram and we talk about kittens and it's awesome. So by association, Bake Off, yeah, Great British Baking Show. What the cute girl? Yes. I didn't I, know that. She loves cats. She does. She just got two. She um, adopted a couple named Inky and Mochi. 
And they're real cute. Wait, they're babies. A couple? Oh, oh, she got, oh, she got two. Two, not two like the cats are a couple. No, the cats Sorry. aren't a couple. I think they're brothers. Oh, but, I'm actually uh, yeah. fairly pleased with this. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, I, I messaged her one day because, of course, I follow her because as soon as I saw her on Bake Off, I was like, this girl is one of my people. She's so great. All right, so okay, I'm going to so try this technique. Okay. It's a wet on wet technique. <laughs> That's real. And while your icing is still wet, especially because I don't want to wait, <laughs> you're supposed to let it crust over, and that takes like an hour. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. No. Um, and you're supposed to put the wet icing on top. And they say it works best if you make contact at the first part and then drag it out. Oh, uh, I see. And then make contact at the end or the butt. See, that's, that's a legitimate learning. I would never have known that. And I would have just dragged it across and it would have been a hot mess. I mean, it's all about YouTube, see? guys. Um, but you also probably should have fairly steady hands. I'm sure that helps. I think I'm overthinking how smooth this is supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, well, we're going to do some uh, additional stuff. Okay. So you can, like, make some dots or you can do some lines. Okay, well, I want to I wanna get the delineation here with the, with the little sleeves, too. I'm doing that after. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. So this may look a little crazy, and it may end up looking crazy. Is there any technique for dots? What? Uh, I, that wasn't covered in the class. Shoot. Um, but this is a technique. You take it and you're supposed to drag. Oh, the little feathery looking thing. And then you're supposed to clean in between. Luckily, we have some towels so that it doesn't make the other one look. Here's the thing. Jacked These up. are legitimate tips. Okay, I don't want you to devalue your master class skills. I think you're half paying attention. I was. You did really well. I mean, I like learning about cookie decor. I mean, I guess this is one. This is one. Yeah. So far. This is going to be festive. I'm excited. This is really sparkly. I'm going for more is more. These are spreading more than I anticipated, so... It's okay. I'm going to put some little blue ones in here, too. Oh my gosh, look at you! Stop, it's so cute! Let's Make see. sure everyone everyone at home can see. Okay. I, well, I think I can lift it. It's probably solidified. Yeah, enough. I think it's okay for now. Look at that. Oh, look at my face. Ah! It's so good. <clears throat> Mine are all gonna look. Now we gotta add more. More is more. Let's do it now. Okay. Yeah, look at my little polka dot. Yes. It sometimes takes a lot of concentration. Yeah. We'll put, we'll do a little, we can do some time lapse. We can do some music here. Enter Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's in the free YouTube library, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Dang, I'm going to use a lot of pink. I'm making this really thick. I'm like, squeeze. This is like, do you remember when you used to make um, like puff paint shirts? Yes. I used to like the ones where you made the little dots. Oh no, there's a cat on the table. There's a cat on the table. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. We have enough. We have actual sprinkles on the table. Sprinkles. Get, Get out. out of here. Okay. I'm going to blame her for everything that goes wrong with my cookies. Yes. <laughs> She's like, hush up. I have one hand on her so she doesn't come up. <laughs> All right, now we're talking. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Now it's a really what? Good idea to have the tissues there. Thanks. That was not in the class. That was just smart thinking. That's just some smarty pants going That's on. That's right. Oh, okay. decisions. I know. This There's the hard so part. many things to put on. Oh, I feel like we need to open these. Oh, those are good. I think I just want to put one giant snowflake in the middle of mine. Because I think this blue would look good. You know? Just smoosh it. 
Mm -hmm. Do you like that one? Yeah, I think it's a good one. Okay. I don't think a... Maybe a donut would look cute. No, that's too much. Yeah, I think this not like looks the best. Yes. These are very important. Or a donut. See, I think the donut is a little too busy, though. This is, this is me overthinking everything. <laughs> Alright, I'm just putting a snowflake on. Just do it! I'm putting tiny snowflakes. She moves. I'd wear that. I would not. Well, I might wear this. Can you see what I'm wearing right now? Mm. <laughs> Look at my little guy. There it goes. I think it's cute. It's mooshed a little bit because I held it up. That's okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that later. Eat it. Right, I'm gonna make a little heart one. What should I do? Oh, oh my God, confetti one. I'm gonna put confetti on the. Okay, I'm alright. Oh, maybe I should make it look like a. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Hi. How much? Of this do we have that's so cute look how festive wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if I dropped it <laughs> no that would be terrible it would be lame I would be so sad oh she also did this really neat thing where you like take two colors next to each other and you kind of swirl them together Ooh. and it creates kind of like a little happy color transition that's fun yeah we'll try it okay so I'm just gonna make like a little this technical term. There. And then we'll do another. Ooh, and then you fill the other color. Yeah. And then you kinda use your toothpick to swirl them together where they meet. Oh. And then she said, if your lines aren't very straight, you can use your little pick to straighten out the lines. You kinda just spread it to where you want it. And I was like, oh, that's smart, because it's never straight when I do it at first. Mm. This, um, I'm going to say this icing right here with the blue mm -hmm. looks a lot like toothpaste. <laughs> a little Aquafresh action. Yeah, it's like glittery and gel-like. Yeah! I'm getting Squeeze there. Squeeze it. I'm getting there. I don't want to get too much because I know I can just like... Smoosh it around? Yeah. Okay. Now, this looks a little more red than pink in my opinion. It is. It's really, it's a very dark pink. It says pink clearly on the front. I bet the red is like super bright. It, it, well, yeah, it's like true cherry red. Yeah. Okay. Now, when it's filled, beep, beep, then you can like apparently take it and kind of like swirl out the the bottom into the Ooh. next. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The red might end up looking a little bloody. Speaking of Krampus. Oh, we can do a, a creepy sweater. Yeah, man. Interesting. It's kind of neat. Yeah. It I'm doesn't gonna... look like a, a regular cookie. Yeah. I'll give it that. Mine is turning into some kind of like peppermint horror. Oh, yes. It's um, it's like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, uh, but festive. But Christmas. Yeah. Freddy Krueger. I like it. Thank you. Little her. I hands. thought mine was gonna be like cute colors, but it just turned out looking like two things. Stop. That's really cute. Thanks. Now I kind of just want to commit to the swirly. Yeah, just swirl it. And just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna swirl it all. This is really zen. Yeah. It's 
especially since there are probably 306 other things I should be doing with my time, but I'm doing this and I like it. You know what? Sometimes you need to take a break and do something completely unrelated to anything else you would ever do. Hmm. Fair. You know? Words of wisdom. Yeah. From, yeah. The, from the Baxter. If you're feeling burnout, and I've talked about this before, because I had a whole video about like what to do when you feel discouraged after I just forgot to apply to my biggest show of the year. Uh, and people go, do you ever feel discouraged? And I go, am I a human being? Yes. Oh, the answer is yes. You are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you gotta do something else. You gotta get out of your head. Get out of there. I like doing something creative like this that doesn't have anything to do with my normal creative field. Because this is awesome. Look, this actually turned out kind of cool. I like it. Like, who would have thought that was that was a cookie? Yeah. That looks like the, that marbled paint yeah. art. Oh, I love that stuff. We should take a class in that sometime. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay, now what do I... I just want to go for another snowflake again. I can't. Not a, a master class on YouTube. <laughs> no, I want to take a real one. They do them around Austin sometimes. Mm. Jennifer Perkins. If you're not following her do it speaking of christmas queen um she did it once she went to one and i thought it was really cool should i do snowflakes or just giant probably these both ones. both okay. more is more that's right it's today's i have to embrace it i also just got icing on my thumb that's okay instead of wiping my hands off i've been licking it you know what we're family here and, if you don't want my saliva, don't eat my cookies. <laughs> I think that's a good parable for life. <laughs> you know? I'm not quite sure what that means. You know? You will like it? Get out of here. This is definitely a dentist sweater. Look at this. I like the swirls are so forgiving when you put something on it because I can just move stuff around and it's fine because it's all swirly. Oh yeah, you're like, eh, don't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh no, that one turned off. What else was I going to put on this? Oh yeah, snowflakes. That one turned out super cute. Look how fun it is. Yeah. What? I'm going to give it to my dentist. Are you really? No, I don't have one. <laughs> I, I do need a new one. I guess I don't have one right now. We should have gotten yellow icing. Sorry. Don't, I mean, don't apologize. I had it in my hand and I put it back. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even think about it, so. I think I'm gonna do all green for this one. Mmm. Are you impressed? I'm excited. I mean, don't get too excited. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do blue. You blew it. But, um. Like the rest of development? I don't ever, I've never seen the whole thing. I've only seen like one episode. What? Whatever. You are going to be, you'll love it. If you do choose to watch it, I highly recommend it. The red icing kind of looks like blood when it's on your fingers. <laughs> Careful. It's kind of, woo. Oh, yes. See? Yep. That's really good. I like how this one turned out. That one's good. I'm reaching over you. Okay. Are we going to eat these? Sure. Okay. You like how I thought about it for a really long time? Yeah. Great. I don't know. Everything's really wet still. And these fall off. There it goes. Yeah. It's so funny. Ugly sweaters. It's all swirly. And a little, it's a little bloody. You know. I like Ooh, it. Oh, I like that. I would wear that sweater. Well, it's not done yet. Okay. It's kind of a crop top at this point. Okay. All right. I'm going to do... I think I have an idea for something kind of cool. Is it going to have sprinkles? I mean, it wasn't, but now I want to do that instead. <laughs> That's the icing. I'm not tooting. Right. <laughs> I like that you call it tooting. I have a four-year-old. That's yeah, true. Um, sometimes if I make a, like sometimes our chairs will um, like scoot across the floor, make a noise, or like if our shoe does something, my son, because 
She just toot. Good no, I would tell you if I did. And what's it to you? <laughs> My gosh. The sustained like grip that you have to have on this. Seriously, it well it's like glue. Yeah. It's hard to I wanna put more. I want this one to be like super icing. Yeah. Get it. I feel like I should probably try and make a cat face on one of these. Oh duh. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. I have so many ideas, I don't know what to do. I can just I could do whatever I want. You could do them all. So you have been doing lots of shows this holiday season. We have. Yes, we have. Tell me what like your biggest tips for like out of town show prep because you you're doing two separate ones in California just this holiday season. Oh, I love those colors. That looks really good. Thanks. Yeah. So do you have I feel like a lot of people ask me about shows and I just don't really do very many anymore. So I can't help them, but I'm curious how you kind of get ready for something that's out of town because that seems very intimidating to me. Um, if you're trying to keep your cross down, then you should probably look into places that have good rates on their baggage if you're flying. Mm. So you can pack, how many suitcases do you take? Um, we fly Southwest, not sponsored. <laughs> Um, but we fly Southwest and you can have two checked bags per person really for free. Oh wow, so you can get four. So we have four like max size mm -hmm. suitcases, as well as, very important, a luggage scale. Oh, is it kind of the one, the one that like hangs? Mm -hmm. and you, can, you pick it up and it, cool. yeah. yeah. Because if you're over 50, then they charge you $75 and then it kind of defeats the whole purpose right. of right trying flying with them because of that so if you forgot your uh luggage scale and we weigh everything to like 48 49 pounds because yeah, we yeah. piece the cut off um Might as well get your money sir. yeah and shuffle everything around and if it doesn't fit in there then it doesn't go so at, at the last show we didn't bring any ornaments because everything was 50 pounds <laughs> 49 um, that's really helpful. 49.9. 49. Well, and then I found like their scales aren't exactly the same Rude. as mine. So maybe mine's off. Maybe theirs is off. Who knows? Maybe we're both off. No one's to blame. So that's why we aim for like 48 or 49 just in case. Good idea. Um, but we put all of our product in Ziploc bags, which isn't ideal. It gets kind of messy. Yeah. But at least you can fit a ton in there and not like lose space from like containers. Yeah. <laughs> like cat face. So cute. I'm gonna try and get the little pouch right. Um, but yeah, so flying is good. If you can drive, then that's probably the easier, but we have pets and leaving them longer than we have to is kind of sad in my brain yeah that's so fun but yeah I mean that's we make sure our displays are compact flat essentially nice so that way whenever we set up we still have you know a nice display but it also fits in a suitcase really smart you just have to know the size of your suitcase when you're buying your display that's the thing <laughs> I remember we went to Ikea together to, to get some of those grid walls that they have. Yeah. And I remember you had you had to have the actual like dimensions and stuff. Yeah, and like so the small one fit, but then it size up didn't. And it was only like an inch too big, but I'd have to buy a new suitcase and that's Yeah. Another cost. Yeah. Um Ooh. T J Maxx, good prices on suitcases. Ooh, top tip. <laughs> That's the tea. Isn't that what people say? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. It takes a little more planning. I mean, all shows take planning. Yeah. But you have to work in a little more logistics. Yeah. Some, some people ship things. You, you know, like... Do, like, the convention centers and stuff take them and mm -hmm. hold them for Yeah, some of them have, like, a like a receiving area. Some people ship things to like their Airbnb. They get that approved beforehand with their Airbnb yeah. or hotel. 
Some hotels allow you to ship things to I them. just can't imagine it must be so expensive to ship some stuff. Because our products get really heavy. Yeah. Being metal. Yeah. That <laughs> I think it just, you kind of have to like compare your pricing between like, okay, is it worth it to pay like $75 to get another suitcase? Yeah. And bring that? Or is it better to... To ship something. Right. But uh, if you sell it all... <laughs> and, that's, you know? and that's the goal, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately... I don't think that happens as often as we would hope. But yeah, making it fit in a suitcase. Our banner collapses down so it still looks nice. Mm -hmm. Even though it's something that fits into a, a little small duffel. And then we do two carry-ons. Nice. For anything that is over the 50. That's awesome. Because if you can do two carry-ons and you have your, your bags that you can put under the seat too. Mm -hmm. Plus four suitcases. Now we look a little ridiculous getting into the airport and checking our bags because so. it's we can barely move all of them together. Uh, yeah, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Look at this sweater that I want to wear myself. That's really good. Little hearts. I like the hearts on the tummy. I like it. I want. Although kind of the hearts really should be down here, but yeah, well that's fine. You know, we're, we're working with should what we've have, got. I should I put some snowflakes on too? No! No, you like it the way it is? It's perfect. She just got so mad at me. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, less is more. <laughs> okay, here's mine. Come on, Zoom. There we go. Yay! <laughs> it's hard. The little tip of my thing is, um, I don't get a lot of detail in the little pouch. That's what I call a cat mouth because of... Um, I can ask cheeseburger. Yeah. Way back in early internet days, they would call um, cat mouse muzzle pouches. I mean, so makes sense to me. You know. And now I just call them a cat pouch, and I think nobody else but my husband knows what that means. <laughs> yeah, I was like, your pouch. Oh, you mean like where your hearts are? Cause you got like a belly pouch. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have a couple of little belly pouches. Of my own. Lizzo says I should love all my pouches. Yeah, get those pouches. So I'm gonna. <laughs> this is the part of the video where we get quiet and you guys get to watch the tops of our heads. Okay. What other holiday tips do you have? Holiday tips? Do you have been rocking it this holiday? I have to say. Thanks. That's kind of you. I cannot I... even brag on this woman enough. Everything that she's been doing. Shows everywhere. Wholesale stuff. Blue Genie. Blue Genie is a pop-up in Austin. It's really cool. It usually runs from Black Friday to Christmas Eve. Um, but this year, since Black Friday was like so super late, it kind of cut off a weekend. So they did it um, a weekend earlier. And I've done it the past three or four years. And that's the one I forgot to apply to. <laughs> Let me know because she's on the ball. <laughs> I also have a husband that reminds me of these things, and he goes, Hey, did you do this? Hey, <laughs> did you do this? And I go, oh, No, but thanks. <laughs> so handy. Super handy. It's like a phone alarm, but better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been doing so much. That's so awesome. I'm really excited for you. Thanks. It's been a lot. No. Yep. Yep. I'm real tired. <laughs> I'm ready for a long winter's nap. Yeah. Well, it'll all be over soon. Holidays, it's so hard because for us, the holidays start so early because we're designing products super early to get them ordered and ready and packaged and everything by the time the holidays come. And then when they get here, you know, you've got Christmas shows all over the place and extra orders like it took me today is thursday when we're filming this and i just finished all my black friday orders <laughs> like you know i've never it's, it was my biggest black friday cyber monday sale which is super exciting but i'm also i had my sister come and help me 
pack orders one day. She did all the pin club because that, you know. That's a beast that, in its own. Yeah, it happened at the same time. So if you got a pin club order, my sister packed it. This is my last one. It's okay. Oh, I still got a whole nother one. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, you gotta That's do another. That's so cute, though. This is my last one. No, there's more over there. No, we have more? Yeah, there's like four more. Shoot. So our... My... <laughs> battery is dying because we've been <laughs> spending so much time so we should probably just show what we have now okay okay i'm finishing my last line this one's just white i'll do something else with it i'll show it on instagram follow us on instagram at the pink samurai and at lux cups and you can see some more of our finished <laughs> products and it'll be great finished amazing sweaters yeah, man. these are so cute I'm so happy we did this okay so my way. final ones this is my first one mm -hmm. I really like I really like how that one turned out Oop. on my mm -hmm. finger right in it mm. this takes a long time this is my second one that's kind of like Traditional Christmas horror looking, you know. <laughs> Traditional Christmas horror. Yeah. Yeah, that's a genre. Mm -hmm. And then this is the one I would just wear every day, always, forever and ever. Hit the cat one. Yeah. And then I didn't finish my last one in time. But, but that's okay, because I didn't even start my last one. That's fine. You know what? Clearly, it was not meant to be. Hmm. Should I take a bite of one? We should probably wait for them to dry before we try to eat them, right? Well... Let's see what you got. It might take like an hour. <laughs> no. Um, okay. This was my first one. Look how pretty. I was um, full started, of hope. You started strong. Yep. I was full of hope and determination. Yeah. yeah. Then we decided to do a dentist style Crest Colgate Aquafresh Aquafresh amazing thing. It's cute. I uh, like there's the this is the big reveal, you guys. This is what she's been doing the whole time. <laughs> now we've got this uh, it's like a red and blue ombre. There. Red and blue ombre with hearts and I trace the lines you always want. Yeah, I love it. So cute. That's so good. Okay, thanks for watching. My battery died and we're filming this two weeks later. <laughs> Can you tell my hair is grown out? Consummate professionals. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for watching. We actually still have our cookies. They're all finished. If you wanted to see. Wait, there's some extra stuff. Cats got on here. It's fine. Um, Just don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. They're so cute though. They're Okay. Yeah, That's finally. <laughs> um, let us know in the comments if you want us to make more ridiculous videos like this. Bibios! Bibios! Oh, by the way, on Instagram, I put up a poll <laughs> to see if our, m my friend Stacy, who does all our tattoos, I have to see her new one too. Yes. So excited. Um, she called us Bibby. It's our celebrity <laughs> couple name. <laughs> and then Libby was like, "Why I like Licky better. Yeah. Which is so gross. Mm -mm. That's me. But Instagram spoke, and by a very narrow margin, Bibby won. <laughs> so now these are Bibios. They're Bibios. Yeah, which <laughs> makes more sense in the long run anyway. I like it. It makes me happy. <laughs> Lickios just sounds like a really gross cereal. Cereal! Yeah! <laughs> no, really. <laughs> um, so let us know in the comments what you think. Get What emoji should they put in the comments? Uh, a cookie! Is uh, there, yes. Is there a cookie? There's one? a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, good. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie emoji. If you made it this far, A. <laughs> and B, if you enjoyed it. So, we've got a double whammy there. Um, <laughs> no cookies. <laughs> we're going to get so many cookies. <laughs> um, yeah. Check out LuxCups.com for super cute pins and all kinds of things. Yes. Also, LuxCups on Instagram. Yes. Um, also the pink samurai. Duh. And all that good stuff. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> ah, bye! <laughs>